if I'm paying, if a third of my money is going to taxes, then I think a third of their money should be going it to does. taxes. It does. Well, it does. I'm trying to understand it, because you realize the ta effective tax rate on the poor is less than it is on the rich, right? Okay, so first of all, um, I'm not the poor. I'm very close to that line, but I'm not the poor. Okay, so the effective, tax rate on the, the effective tax rate on the middle class okay. is less than it is on the rich, correct? Oh man, first they lost the old fire alarm puller Bowman. Now down goes Cori Bush. And it looks like Ilian Omar may be next. This on top of the absolute embarrassment, the, the internet-wide mocking of Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's insane hypocrisy over how people sit. All this proves is like the woke left is a facade. They are uh, absurd. At least Cori Bush, now that she's unemployed, she can go back to literally curing cancer by touching people. That's what she said. That's not what I said. Make sure you leave a like on this video to laugh at the woke left's collapse. And if you haven't yet, download that uh, mean green app. I am at 229,000 followers on my push to get to 250,000 followers over on Rumble by the election. Download the Rumble app. Update your Rumble app, follow the quartering, support free speech, and get uncensored versions of me. Well, we could talk about AOC first. We could talk about Cori Bush. We could talk about the fall of the squad. All of it's amazing. Let's start with Cori Bush. Now, of course, Cori Bush legendarily lost her election last night to Wesley Bell, a relative unknown, somebody with 10,000 Twitter followers. This just proves that social media isn't real life. All the hype around, you know, Kamala Harris's uh, new VP pick and his his habits of enjoying horse stuff, apparently, allegedly, um, floating around the internet, all this kind of stuff doesn't matter. Cori Bush, the incumbent, lost her election to a complete unknown. And she lost by only 7,000 votes. Cori Bush is a radical, defund the police, uh, lunatic. Again, I'm not kidding about her saying she could cure cancer by touching people. That's exactly what she said. Squad representative Cori Bush claimed that she miraculously cured women with tumors in bizarre resurfaced TV interview. The far left squad member said in her little known autobiography, why are you writing an autobiography when you're 30 years old? You could understand that if it was the 1800s and people only lived to 35. But anyway, again, she said that she put her hands on somebody and cured their cancer. I'm not kidding you. I remember I put my hands on her. My hand just began to move. And the lumps that were there just disappeared. This was who won the election. And why does this spell doom? Well, let's just take a little bit of the hilarity. Here is her election night speech. It's a measly 2,000 likes. By the way, again, this is somebody with a million social media followers. A million. This is why I'm telling you that X social media and this crap is not real life. Get out there. Find that uncle, find that cousin that you're on okay terms with and tell them that you want to Pokemon go to the polls with them. Focus on that, not what Predicted says, not what Rasmussen says, not what 538 says, not what social media is trending. Go press flesh. Talk to people. Take them to the polls. I am not kidding you. This is how it's done. Corey Bush with a million X followers was defeated by a complete unknown. You want to know why? Because this isn't real life. Of course, you see the Hamas caucus, down Bowman, down goes Bush. Ilian Omar, by the way, Minnesotans. Minnesotans, okay? Minnesotans who see my video or who know somebody who watches this video who lives in Minnesota. 
Ilhan Omar barely won her primary by just 2,000 votes. If 5,000 Republicans cast a ballot against her in the primary on August 13th, which is just six days from now, Ilhan Omar will be removed from office. Remember, Minnesota has an open primary. If you live in Minnesota and you're a Republican, <laughs> go vote for Ilhan Omar's Democrat opponent on August 13th in the primary. You are allowed to do this in an open primary. Omar almost lost in 2022. If 5,000 GOP voters cross over and vote against her on the 13th, we can all remove her from office. This is from Laura Loomer. This needs to happen. Tell everyone you know who lives in Minnesota. This isn't just a go tell somebody. Again, Pokemon go to the polls, as Hillary Clinton once cringily said. Okay, This is a woman that barely beat Don Samuels by 2,000 votes. We can get rid of her. A third squad member. Down goes Ilhan Omar. That's what I want to re be reporting in exactly six days from now. I think that would be next Monday, if I'm correct. Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday night is the election in Minnesota. If you've got nothing going on, grab a bunch of your Republican buddy friends. And, and you can, your vote can remove yet another woke squad member from her position. Now we get to the AOC hilarity, by the way. Have you, by the way, you don't have to download the Rumble app. You can just follow, you know, create an account. I'm at 229,141. Let's see if we can get to 230,000 followers today. That means 900 new followers on Rumble. Tune in one Eastern. I, I would never ask you to leave your favorite platforms. I would only ask that you consider watching my live streams there. One Eastern, Monday through Friday. Today, I'll have Sticks Hexenhammer with me. AOC humiliated. AOC Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez was slammed for her apparent hypocrisy after putting J.D. Vance on blast for, quote, manspreading, then quickly being caught doing the exact same thing. New York Congresswoman reacted with distaste to a clip of Vance sitting comfortably in a cushy wide chair with his legs in a relaxed manner. Why are you sitting with that? Oh, I'm sorry. Why are you sitting like that? Like, totally, she wrote on Tuesday, an apparent jab at J.D. Vance's spread eagle stance. But AOC's mockery was deconstructed in just minutes. Clown World, an account on X known for criticizing liberals, took a screenshot of AOC's post and placed it side by side with her own wide sitting posture from less than two years ago. AOC, the account, wrote over the criticism of Vance, also, AOC labeled the image of her wide of her own wide stance. Many other people replied with the same image of AOC's wide sitting stance. Another posted yet another picture of AOC sitting at a table in a restaurant with her boyfriend, Riley Roberts, who was sitting with his legs crossed. Why is he sitting like that? The user asked. <laughs> I mean, it is a golden opportunity for you to, with an actual reason, explain to Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez what balls are you know the thing that she thinks should be allowed in women's locker rooms vance uh former president trump's running mate has been skewered by other liberal accounts on x for how he was sitting during an appearance on the full send podcast well that's all they have that's literally all they have they can't talk about his positions his policies or the fact that that podcast that he was on is probably heard by a million people can't talk about any of that stuff. The only thing I can talk about is the way he was sitting. This is just like their weirdo astroturfed garbage where they're like, J.D. Vance is like totally weird. Isn't that right? Not the guy that everyone's talking about drinking horse jizz. He's not weird. Not the guy that uh, abandoned his troops when they were set to deploy to Iraq. Not, not, not the guy that is down with people aborting their nine-month-old babies. No. That's not weird. J.D. Vance is totally weird, guys. Like, am I right? Let's play Among Us. Is that still popular? Of course, the event was being held. You know, again, here you go. Here she is sitting man-spreading. In fact, perhaps even wider than J.D. Vance. Quote, maybe AOC hasn't found the right person. Whatever the case may be, AOC has said, basically, if you look at her public remarks on this, that it's immoral to have children because of climate change, 
This is, let's just be direct, a sociopathic attitude towards family, J.D. Vance said. AOC did a quick fact check in the ethics of having kids in a world that's being affected by climate change back in sh- uh, back shortly after she was elected in 2018. Quote, basically, there's a scientific consensus that the lives of children are going to be very difficult. And it does lead, I think, young people to have a legitimate question. Is it still OK to not to have children? That is what bartender Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez said. This is why the squad must go. AOC claims that J.D. Vance and Republicans are running on an incel platform. Squad member says GOP is obsessed with women and watching what LGBTQ people do. Well, somebody's got to watch out for them. I fight for kids can only seem to get so many of them. Somebody's got to keep an eye. The idea, I mean... The idea that this is all the left has is mm, he's just so weird. By the way, I want to, you know, end with the real truth about AOC and why everyone's circling their wagons around um, Kamala Harris's VP pick. It's because he's not Jewish. They won't say it out loud, but that's why they're happy. They, they, they are, uh, you know, it's, wildly anti-Semitic. They hate Jewish people. And they knew that they would lose that section of their voting base if they selected him to run with Kamala Harris. Meanwhile, the hide continues. I believe it's been something like 18 days since Kamala Harris has answered any questions from any press and not read off the teleprompter. They're doing exactly what they did in 2020. Trump needs to drag these people out into the sunlight, into the spotlight. Trump needs to challenge Kamala Harris, not just to one, but multiple debates. If he wants to win, do not let them hide these weirdos, shine a light on them. And remember, next Tuesday, we can vote out yet another member of the woke squad as the system begins to heal. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you have a like on it. We'll talk to you again real soon.